Today we'll be taking a look at, uh, at my top collection. I'm fairly new to top collecting, as well as many other hobbies, but um, I, I've acquired most of my tops through a site called Mass Drop, and I'll, I'll put links uh, for everything down in the description. So the first top that I want to go over today is uh, the stainless steel top from Forever Spin. But first, let's uh, let's get this going over here. We'll talk about this in a minute. See how long this one spins. All right, not a great spin, but anyway. So this is stainless steel, polished stainless steel from Forever Spin. There we go. That's a good spin on that one. It's the stainless steel top. Uh, polished. It's a mirror finish. So it's incredibly hard to get spinning sometimes. Uh, occasionally my fingers will just slip right off of it. and it, it won't do anything at all. The base here, the spinning surface, is also from Forever Spin available on mass drop. The reverse side is a uh, display of sorts that I'll show you here in a second. Um, the stainless steel, you know, once you do get it spinning, spins pretty well. But our next top is probably my favorite of the uh, forever spin tops. It is copper. And it, uh, when it first arrived, it was a pretty shiny copper, you know, like a, a brand new penny looking, but um, uh, it's starting to get a nice little patina. Um, well, you know, it's not going green or anything, but it is, it is showing some just age darkening. And uh, out of the Forever Spin Tops, I feel like the copper uh, of the forever spin tops that I have, the copper spins the most reliably. It is a little bit heavier than the stainless steel. Wow, that was a pretty good spin on that stainless steel. Let's check on our other one over here. Yep, still going. So it looks like the stainless steel is about to topple over here in a second. Our third top from the forever spin is their tungsten top. It is the heaviest top that they make right now. I believe it's about twice the weight of the stainless steel. And it, I mean, it is, it is hefty. Hmm. Not much for sound comparison there, but it is, it is a heavy, heavy top. And you know, it, it's got a, a nice brushed finish on it. So it's a little bit easier to get spinning than the stainless, but uh, you know it, it carries a lot more weight, so it should spin for longer. Uh, but this one, you know, it, it there might be some type of imbalance of some sort, or maybe the the tip isn't finished properly. So it actually um, it wobbles quite a bit, uh, and you know every once in a while it will. There goes our stainless. So, ooh. so it wobbles quite a bit. Uh, yeah, see the the tungsten's found its it, its nice center spot there, but it's still wobbling. It very rarely actually, you know, spins in one spot. It'll just continue to wobble and wobble and wobble and wobble and eventually it'll wobble down. Let's see if we can expedite that process here. Meanwhile, our other top is still going. Hmm. 
And then finally the copper. I love it. It's consistent. It, it stands on its point. It does have an interesting little wobble to it. I'm not sure if you can see it, but the, the tip up here is, it looks like it's just vibrating a little bit, which indicates to me that it's not, um, it's not spinning perfectly in line with, uh, with its axis. It's wobbling a little bit, just not quite as much as the tungsten. Love this top. The copper is my favorite of the three. I love copper anyway, but uh, it, it, um, it's the most reliable. It's easy to spin, um, centers well. All right, on to our last top for the day. And this one is the Vorso MK1 spinning top. And I love it. It, uh, let's have a look here. It has a brass body, brass spindle with a, a nice knurled surface so you can spin it easily. The center part here, as you can see, is a silvery color. Uh, it's, it's aluminum. And the bearing that I chose is ruby. And if you don't know, ruby is a 9 on the Mohs hardness scale, just below diamond. So ruby is a corundum, it's ruby, sapphire, various other corundums. So it's incredibly hard. And it will, so it won't, it won't dent or scratch, you know, there's a potential for it breaking, but you probably have to drop it or hit it very hard for that to happen. I imagine it's a synthetic ruby. Well, it's got to be a synthetic ruby. It, it, it just is more consistent in its uh, crystalline structure and not as, uh, as prone to cleaving. But, my goodness, this thing, this thing spins. Very often, I will I will spin it, and um, it'll it'll find its nice little center point there, and I'll forget that it's spinning. So I'll, I'll be sitting at my desk and and hear it hear it stop, and not remember when I had spun it. You know, it's been minutes, minutes, ten minutes maybe. I'll walk away from the desk, hear it from another room, like oh, I forgot that it was spinning. It's an amazing little top, and I'll, of course, put the link in the description below. But um, uh, of all of, all four, <laughs> extensive collection, right? All four of the tops, it is my absolute favorite. Uh, I, you know, the, the brass is nice. It's a little soft, so um, I've dinged it up uh, trying to spin it on the um, forever spin surface. But that hasn't um, hasn't affected its consistency or made it wobble anything like that. Uh, so the surface that it's spinning on right now is uh, also from off of the mass drop. It is a clear cut spin station. Uh, it's I, I love it. Um, the forever spin station is, is nice. Um, it's probably about the same size, but it doesn't have, um, it doesn't have the same type of collaring effect that this does. Um, so, you know, with the forever spin, your tops will just glide right off. With the clear cut, it'll hit the side and stay in this bowl. Just like that. Hit the side, continue to spin inside. So, um, it also has spots for you to, to store your tops when you're not using them, kind of a display. Um, whereas the the Forever Spin has one spot. It, it does hold the top a little bit nicer, but it was, you know, purpose-built to hold Forever Spin tops. So, but this one does a nice job as well. It also looks a lot cooler. I mean, the, there are several different patterns that you can get. There's a... Um, uh, the spiral pattern that I have here, uh, just geographic shape or geometric shapes, um, 
as well as like a Mayan or Aztec calendar type uh, looking pattern. And they, you can see here I have the, the red plastic. It also comes in green. Um, but the, uh, I believe that the spinning surface, I want to say it's sapphire. Um, incorrect. It is a glass lens, 75 millimeter, um, with a 20 centimeter focal length. So it is slightly concave, so the top will uh, kind of settle into that point there, as you can see the, uh, the Vorso top here has done. And that top, man, it will just spin forever. Let's uh, see about slowing this down a little bit. So, I mean, I, I don't want to film the entire spin because I have no idea how long it would take. Possibly 10 minutes or more. So, and, and it's so stable, it spins down to really low revs so that uh, when it does finally destabilize, it's starting to wobble there a little bit. But when it finally does destabilize, um, see it just goes back to doing its thing. Um, it'll just give a, a soft sheen, and and that's uh, that's the sound I hear when I go, oh, it stopped. <laughs> so I'd like to give a, a shout out to my army of subscribers here, all two of you. <laughs> Uh, one's, uh, it appears to be a spam bot and the other's, uh, like a car review channel that hasn't been active in years. That's the Vorso top spinning down. But, um, yeah, great fun here. A little bit of extra content. Uh, I'm doing, a another mass drop review, I suppose, of the, uh, Moraniv. I have no idea how to pronounce that. It's Swedish. I want to say it more Russian-y, though. All right. Tops. Gotta love them. They're just so tactile. Brings you back to childhood. All right, that's it. See you next time.